So this is the uh, English name, Peking Uni Medical College Hospital. This is one of the best hospitals in Beijing. Here I am in the Beijing Xiehe Hospital. The outside doesn't look very peculiar. It's not even modern, but when you walk inside the building, it looks extremely nice. As you can see, there is a, an Asian Chinese building that is a, a Christian church. And over there, there is a Western building. And uh, I don't know what it is. I'm really close to Tiananmen Square, maybe just one kilometer away. So this hospital's English name is Peking Uni College Hospital. Very interesting name. It was founded in 1921, one of the best hospitals in China. I didn't see those service uh, staff back in Taipei Hospital, the first hospital. Uh, I, the first one, I was hospitalized. This is Beijing Xiehe Hospital. I'm here. This girl helped me a lot. This girl with this uniform and that pink cap. So I got this, this, and we need this card if we want to uh, get our bills insured. So this is a Chinese uh, Beijing social security card. Okay, I will head to the place. I'm waiting for the, the professional. Look their design, it's very bright, yet it's very comfortable, really nice. The outside doesn't shine, but it shines inside. This place is full of people. No wonder it's one of the best. People come here, get their body checked, and get their diseases eradicated. You see? This is the entrance to the wards. A lot of families, relatives are waiting. Uh, they, there is a huge line. And, uh, wow, this is really popular. But it's also very sad. For some parents, they have to wait here. Just put a blanket on the floor and get rest. They're curious about what I'm doing. <laughs> now I'm walking towards the outside of the hospital. I see some ancient Chinese buildings. I would like to go there and take a look. That one, that one. This is really nice. It's the old building. Let's go over there and check it out. Interesting. I don't know what's that for. The chimney. Hmm. Back in the uh, 20th century, 100 years ago. Okay, right now it is 1.30. Uh, I'll go see the doctor at 2.30 uh, sharp. So I still have one hour. Maybe let's talk about uh, Chinese security uh, insurance. So if you work uh, in Beijing, let's say you are employed and you normally have the insurances 
the government uh, force the company forces the company to to pay for you. One of them is the health insurance. So let's say uh, last time I was hospi hospitalized in uh, Haidian uh, Hospital, and uh, my hospital bill is around twelve hundred thousand. 12, 12,000 12, RMB. So it's uh, uh, less than 2,000 US dollars. And uh, the insurance covered 70% of it. So I only paid about uh, 3,000 RMB. So that's around uh, uh, 500 US dollars. And uh, since I work at Pawfish, so um, at Pawfish, the company actually buy another kind of insurance for you. We call it a business insurance. It's less than 100 US dollars per year, but your hospital bill can be covered. I mean, after. Uh, the first cover that the insurance you normally have so my 3000 expense can be covered uh, probably i don't know how much but it will be happening i'll check it out in two weeks because only in two weeks i can get uh, all the paperwork from the hospital Let's head to the western side of the building. Over there. There's nothing special in this part of the building, west part of the building. Okay, so uh, let's keep talking about the uh, Chinese health insurance. Uh, what if one person doesn't work? And that person is not employed, but he lives in Beijing and uh, he needs to go to the hospital and see doctors. And maybe suddenly he needs to spend a few thousands of US dollars. This is a big expense. Uh, I think the only way for him to cover the bills, the expenses, is to buy uh, uh, insurances. But not the kind of insurances I mentioned uh, in the first place, but uh, uh, the, the, the kind of insurance that's uh, uh, available on the market. Uh, that person just can buy the insurance and uh, when he needs it, he just uses it. Uh, so it's only good for the ones who are employee, employee, employee. Uh, and who have jobs like me and, uh, and it's even better uh, when your employer can actually buy one extra insurance for you so this is what happened to me so uh, in the end uh, after this huge expenses 90% uh, maybe 95% of the uh, bills uh, will be It is nearly 2 o'clock, uh, this is a canteen for the staff who work, in, who are, who work here, there is even subway. Uh, okay, just curious about this place, I feel like even though it's called staff canteen, but it seems like uh, everyone can be in here, okay. Well, this is a long walking, uh, I've been walking around for 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, because I need some rest, I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating when I'm in the building, so I need to get rest, I need to go to the 8th floor and find my professional and get my body checked. Okay, here we go. Okay, I still have a lot of time, so I will take 
escalator, not elevator. Look at that. Whoa. A little bit scary. Okay, here I am. I'm uh, at the specialist VIP clinic south, but I need to go to north. So this is the VIP. Uh, it costs me 50 US dollars about. Uh, I booked a VIP. Okay, I have to admit, I say so many attractive people here. Maybe I'm like uh, experience. I don't go to many hospitals, but I do see a lot of, you know, uh, surprisingly handsome doctors and uh, also great looking nurses and male doctors. Interesting. Okay, I see so many people. Check it out. Wow, a lot of people waiting. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom and uh, get rest a little bit. Wow, it's very fresh. <laughs> It's very fresh in the bathroom, can you believe it? <laughs> Whoa, you can see more here. Oh, I'm a little bit tired. I need to take a pee. Okay. Okay, I'm a little bit tired. Right now it's already 2.40. Why should I have came here? Why should I come here one hour earlier? I should have slept in my apartment for an hour and then got here. There are still five patients before me, but I do say when I mentioned uh, there were a lot of patients, uh, a while ago, I want to let you know that there are even more patients ports of patients waiting for uh, the, the time to see the doctors. Uh, some of them, they come from really far places like northeastern China, Inner Mongolia, maybe Hebei province. Uh, they all come here and try to see uh, the special professional doctors it's not covered uh, by the insurance health insurance so everybody come here they're treated equally <sighs> I'll go see somewhere and uh, set a timer rest a little bit I cannot record some fun videos like TikTok videos because it's, it has a lot of commotions. Check it out. You can see uh, the center of Beijing. The tallest building is Chinese Zun. Zhongguo Zun. That's the name of the building. It is the tallest building in Beijing. Okay, right now it's around 4.30. Finally, I'm about to go back to work. Uh, I have a backpack full of medicines. And that doctor, really famous one, not famous, very professional. My professional one talked to me 
probably around 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And uh, she suggests that I should take uh, uh, medicines for one more month. This is my suggestion, actually. Uh, I do need to do a kidney check. Uh, they need to use some special surgeon devices try to get uh, the live cells out of my kidney so that I know uh, what's wrong, what is exactly wrong with my kidney and then they can find the uh, cause and then cure my disease. So I, I had, uh, I had a, a paper from that doctor and I went to the medicine uh, window. I got one month medicine. One month later, I need to check uh, with check with my blood, my uh, my pee, and so on. Uh, so we'll see what will happen then. now. Ready to head back to to work. Next time, I'll be here one hour later, definitely one hour later. <laughs>